Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and a potential gimmick involving time variants. We've had regional variants in games past, but what if Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has a mechanic where Pokemon from the future and Pokemon from the past have different forms that not only change how they perform in battle, but also change how they look. Let's jump right into things. Now the idea of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's regional variants being based on the future and the past comes from some of the strange thematic uh, strings that the community has pulled from the two trailers for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now it's very obvious based on the design of the professors, based on the design of the legendaries, based on just a lot of the, the imagery we've seen out of Scarlet and Violet that the past and the future are going to be the major themes of the game. But also in the newest trailer we saw what seemed to be a tease for a potential gimmick or story beat or some kind of important piece to Scarlet and Violet. And that was at the end of the trailer. I've mentioned this in videos past. An animated clip of a Pokeball traveling through what seems to be some sort of time distortion, some sort of crashing through reality. That's the way it's been interpreted. A lot of the trailer was showing off multiplayer features. There was a big point in the trailer where they talked about trading Pokemon with the friends that you're playing through the game with. And the fact that they combined this with the little teaser at the end of the trailer has some people thinking that trading and evolution or some kind of thing involving the Pokemon traveling through time, through space, is going to be a major feature. So what if we took this idea and paired it with the idea of regional variants? Regional variants were introduced in the Alola region. They are forms for older Pokemon, reasons why in a certain geographical area the Pokemon have taken on new characteristics. It's become a fan favorite feature, and ever since Alola, it's been in every single brand new Pokemon game. There are regional variants in Pokemon Sword and Shield their original variants in Legends Arceus, and there's no reason to assume that there won't be some form of regional variants in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's a gimmick that has stood the test of time and has now become a staple in the Pokemon franchise. But what if Scarlet and Violet takes its own little twist on regional variants? In Pokemon Scarlet, a regional variant could look a certain way, and in Pokemon Violet, a regional variant could look differently. This would also be interesting with trading Pokemon up from previous generations. Let's use an example, just a basic one, of a Pikachu. You bring over a Pikachu from Pokemon Sword and Shield through Pokemon Home, and it looks like the way it always has. You get a Pikachu in Pokemon Scarlet, and it looks... Let's use the example of the caveman from Spongebob. It looks ancient. It looks like something from the Flintstones. If you catch a Pikachu in Pokemon Violet, it looks like some of the advanced looking creatures from SpongeBob's Futuristics Existential Dread episode. This is kind of the idea that I have for time variants. Pokemon from different moments in time are looking differently, have different types, have different movesets. This is the regional variants. There are no set regional variants for this Spanish-based region. They are based on the games they come from, and they are based on what seems to be an influence of the story in each of these games. Maybe this isn't that they're specifically in the region at the time in this form. Maybe they've stood the test of time. They haven't evolved differently. They look this way. But maybe depending on what you unearth, whether it's fossils or whether it's Pokemon from the future, depending on what the story is presenting, these Pokemon look a different way. They have different typings, and these are the regional variants for these games. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free, and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the Join tab. See if the perks interest you, and if you want go the extra mile supporting me, that is always greatly appreciated. This is just some of my own personal speculation as to why these Pokemon could be in the region at the time, but what if the work that the professors are doing is bringing Pokemon from the past into the region or from the future back to the region present day. A lot of the speculation seems to be that the conflict in these games is going to be based on a feeling that the present is no longer adequate and that we need to either move back towards something from the past or move forward to something from the future in order to make our society, the Pokemon world, whatever is going on with the evil teams and the professors, better. 
So what if they are bringing Pokemon from the past to make the region more prosperous, make the region what it once was, and these are the Pokemon that you're going to be able to now go out into the wild and catch and use on your team. They have become ingrained in the region in the present. Or the reverse, the Pokemon have been pulled from the future because there is something wrong that needs to be corrected in the present, and they think that moving forward and getting Pokemon from there can help them move forward. There's a lot of interesting time speculation going on with this theme, and I think it's really fun, and I think it could present a lot of interesting forms and a lot of interesting discussions for why these Pokemon look the way that they do, both in the lore and also from a design perspective when we eventually anal analyze why Game Freak chose to do certain things. I think it's going to be a major factor. I think if time variants exist, it's going to be pulled from one of these strings. The legendaries, as I mentioned before, seem to be the biggest influence on why I think this is going to happen. They look very similar. They look like they could be the same creature just from different points in time. The eyes are very similar. The facial structure is very similar. They have similar names, Coridon and Maridon. All of this is to say these Pokemon share some sort of relationship. Whether or not they're truly the same Pokemon is yet to be seen. It's what I personally think seems to be the most logical answer as to what's going on here, but I think that if you were to use these Pokemon as the mascots for this regional variant twist, it would work perfectly. They could have different names, just like Coridon and Moridon have in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, one from the past and one from the future. It is all there for Game Freak to work on, and it's all there for them to take as inspiration from the legendaries and then bring it down into the Pokemon that exist in the region. This is interesting, and it, it leads you to wonder if there's going to be a way for you to change the form of the Pokemon. If you trade a Pokemon from Pokemon Scarlet that is a past regional variant into Violet, does it become a future variant? Does it stay the same? Does something happen to it in that game? What happens if you bring a Pokemon, like I mentioned before with the Pikachu example, you know, I don't think they're going to do this with Pikachu, from Pokemon Home into the region and it's, you know, what it always is. This would work because obviously in the world of Pokemon, Kanto and Johto and Sinnoh, they're still here and they have Pokemon from the present, not from the past and the future. So it wouldn't disrupt the balance, but it would be something different from what the poke from what the people of the region are used to. It's all very interesting, and I think time variance is a fun feature that we really likely could see in Scarlet and Violet. It fits with the theming of the region, and I think there's a lot of thematic strings they could pull on with it. But I would love to know what you guys think. Do you like the idea of time variants? Do you like some of my concepts I've thrown about as to how they could do it? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you have a way that you think they should handle it that's different from what I said, I would love to read about it down below as well. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I post new Scarlet and Violet videos every single week. There's a lot of fun topics to talk about still from the second trailer. So I hope you will stick with me for all of that. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.